Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of Terraform for Beginners or Terraform Bootcamp. And in today's video, we're going to talk about output variables. So the variables that we talked about in the past videos are more of, of an input variables and this video is dedicated for output variables all right so before moving further in this video i would like to request that kindly subscribe the channel because that would really support me to create more content like this all right so let us dive right into the video so what exactly is an output variable so output variable is basically returned by a terraform resource or a module in other words we can say in terraform an output variable is a named value that is returned by a terraform resource or a module Output variable can be used to store information about the resources that have been created such as IP addresses or DNS names. They can also be used to pass information between the modules. Output variables are declared in the output block of a Terraform configuration file. So whatever file we write, we place an output block over there and in there we have the uh, declaration for the output variable. The output block takes a list of output declarations, each of which specifies the name and value of the output variable so uh, for example we can use uh, these output variables to store sensitive information such as passwords or api keys okay so here is an example for that you can see this output written over here we have just given a name and after that there is a key value and then there is a value associated with it. Uh, it the name is value and there is a value associated with it all right so this house output variable will store the public IP address of the AWS instance dot mines. So output variables can be accessed using a Terraform output command. For example, to print the value of public underscore IP output variable, you would run the command, which is Terraform output public underscore IP. Okay, so let us understand it. So you can see over here, this is an output block. So basically output block would look something like this. You write output. You write the name over here after that you'll have inverted commas and then you have value over here inside that you will write some value dot value dot value okay so for this example you can see that this output starts the output block this name is over here the value that uh, we are going to take is like this and this aws underscore instance dot my underscore instant dot public dot ip okay so output variable can be accessed during terraform output so if you want to access it in case you want to access it you have to use terraform output okay so this is basically the command okay for example to print the value of the public ip so if i want to print the value of this public IP, what do I have to do? I have to use Terraform output public IP public underscore IP. So that's how uh, we do it, guys. Okay. So uh, this is whatever which I uh, whatever I told. This is a format. Okay. This this is a format this here what you see whole of it is an example of it okay this is an example of it and how do you access it this is how you're gonna access it so i'll just reiterate output variables can also be accessed programmatically using the terraform api as well and again the benefits of it they make it easy to access information about the resources that have been created they can be used to pass information between modules they can be used to store information which is sensitive in nature, such as password or API keys. Okay, so that's the basic idea. So do not get confused if you have not understood till yet. I'll go, I'm going to show you an example of the code. Okay, so if you remember, this is the example that I gave in my previous video in which we were talking about the variable. Okay, so we're gonna talk about this piece of code basically. So what exactly is happening over here? I'll just copy it from here and I'll paste it in Excalibur so that it would be much easier for you to understand okay so here is the code i'll just expand it a bit and let us directly understand it okay so let us understand how things are going on to access the value of the list within the my object so there is a list over here right uh, there is a list over here so in order to access uh, the value basically inside my object uh, variable in terraform you can follow these steps so we're gonna follow these steps 
So uh, first of all, let us understand this is how it is going to work. First, you have to access the my object variable. So first is my object variable. Okay, which is this. So this would be my first task. I have to access this. Okay. In order to understand more about this, since my object is an object, so uh, this part which we are talking about is an object, you can access its properties by specifying the property name after the dot notation. In this case, you want to access the value of the port, basically uh, this one. You want to access this, right? So what you will do is you can use something like var dot my underscore object dot port okay and this is coming from this so you want to access this right so you have to use so var this var would be the prefix and this is very important in order to access it so uh, to uh, in order to access this my object variable you can use this var prefix such as var dot my object so in this case this is the first uh, this is the prefix okay after that dot you are using this my object the object part and inside that you have port the value right which contains the value and then you can access it so this is uh, how you do it finally to access the element within the list you can uh, use the index space so if you remember uh, i've talked about the index so uh, the list index always go like this zero one and two so in order to access this uh, 80 value, 80 port number, you have to go to zeroth index. For 8090, you have to go to first index and so on and so forth. So uh, let us uh, take an example of if I have to get the value, uh, which is uh, 80 as my port number, how will I form? So first of all, I would use prefix, which is fair. Then I'll use the object name. What is my object name? My object. And then after dot port, and inside these brackets, I have to use the index. So as soon as I use this, the value 80 will come. Similarly, for uh, if I want to access 8090, here I'll write access so that you can understand. If I want to access that, then try to make it. The prefix will come at the first place. Then the object name, which is my object. Then the port, because that's what the name that you have given over here right and then inside that one and the value that will come is 8090 and that's how it works guys okay so uh, that's a very basic example output block this is very important folks pay attention and write i would like you to take out a pen and paper and understand so how to uh, use that so based on similar terms the block will start something like this output okay uh you can use first port, first underscore port, and this is just a name, you can use anything. Inside that, the value will come that you're going to put. The prefix is going to come first. I'll just write like this, name equal to prefix, the object name, the value, and here, index okay this is the golden rule so this is what you have to remember right so based on that if you are going to do this this is prefix it's going to be var and the object name would be my underscore object dot the value would be port and the index is zero okay and once that is done this is just for comment guys and uh, this I have to done okay now uh, try to make your own value for the third port okay so this is for the first port first port number okay now pause this video over here try to make it for third port okay what uh, what will be the command i'll stop the video right here and write your command and match with it okay i'm going to write it over here so third port if i have to uh, see sorry uh, yeah third port yeah third port then what I have to do, I have to write output, then I can give any name, 
uh, third port you can give a name third port inverted comma close after that the golden rule is value then the prefix then the object name which is my object my object and then after that the value which is a port and the index should be 2 why because this is 0 this is 1 and this is 2 which is this right after that you just have to close so basically that's how it's done folks okay so in the above example the output block demonstrated uh, this is the summary basically so this is the summary that I'm talking about this is very important folks so in the example of the output block demonstrate how you can access specific elements because that's what we are going to do right we're going to access the specific elements from the list within the my object variable the first post output will have the value of 80 the second will be having 8090 and the third one would be 22 so third one would be 22 okay and that's how it works right so uh, i hope you have understood the purpose of this video how you uh, what exactly is output over here uh, why do we need it the variables that we have used in previous videos are mostly input variables and this one is the output value output variable basically using it from the object and this value can be used as an input to some other uh, some other thing okay so that can be done all right so i hope you folks have understood it uh, if a question arises that how can we access uh, uh, how can we access the value inside an object this is the answer for it all right so if there is anything feel free to comment down below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one